Numbers and counting. A number is a symbol used to count how many there are of something. There are even and odd numbers. The even numbers are two, four, six, eight, and ten. The odd numbers are one, three, five, seven. And nine. First, let's look at even numbers. The even numbers are two, four, six, eight, and ten. An even number is a number that can be split into two equal parts. For example, the even number two can be split into one and one. These are equal parts; they're both the same. The even number four can be split into two and two. These are equal parts; they're both the same. The odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, and nine. An odd number can't be split into two equal parts. For example, the odd number three can be split into one and two. These are not equal parts. The odd number five can be split into two and three. These are not equal parts. So that's the difference between even and odd numbers. Just think that even numbers can be split into equal parts, and odd numbers can't be split into equal parts. So to recap. Every number that ends in two, four, six, eight, and zero are even numbers, and every number that ends in one, three, five, seven, and nine are odd numbers. Now let's look at some examples. Twelve. The number twelve. Ends in the number two, therefore it is an even number. Twenty-five. The number twenty-five ends in the number five, therefore it's an odd number. Forty. The number forty ends in zero, therefore it's an even number. Seventy-seven. The number seventy-seven ends in the number seven, therefore it's an odd number. Each number has a value. The place value refers to how much a digit is worth or the value of that digit, depending on where it is in a number. A single-digit number is any number between zero to nine. These include zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. The single-digit number with the least value is zero, and the single-digit number with the most value is nine. A two-digit number is any number between ten. All the way to ninety-nine. The two-digit number with the least value is ten, and the two-digit number with the most value is ninety-nine. Now let's look at counting. Counting can help us to find an amount of something. We can count a sequence forwards or backwards. But remember, the order of the numbers always stays the same. You can use a number line to help. Each number must follow an order or a sequence. We can see in this number line that the number with the least value in a sequence is zero, and every number above zero has more value in the sequence. Let's look at an example. How many apples are there? Let's count the number of apples. One. Two, three, four. There are four apples.
If we add two more apples, then how many apples will there be? So all we need to do is just to count on two more apples to get to six. Four, five, six. So there are six apples. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many pencils are there? Let's count the number of pencils. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six pencils. If we want to add three more pencils, then how many pencils will there be? So we just need to count on three more to get to nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. How many books are there? Let's count the number of books. One, two, three, four, five. There are five books. If we want to add five more books, then how many books will there be? So, we just need to count on five more to get to ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there will be ten books. You should be able to count to a hundred. Here is a number square to help you learn the positions of all the numbers. You can also look for patterns in the number square. 